Hey, how are you? We're freelance journalists, and we're just uh, talking to various folks in the convention here. And uh, uh, so you're getting shoe shine. I guess a lot of a lot of shoe leather on a day like this. All these folks. Um, I just have bare feet. <laughs> you get those shine. Well, you can get a pedicure maybe while you're here. Um, so, uh, what do you what are you thinking of the uh, of the uh, activities so far? As uh, I see, you're. you're well, I, I think that uh, we've watched and are going to watch all the um, big government I'm candidates right today. Check in. Um, so uh, Santorum, Newt Gingrich, and uh, Romney. And um, based on the low turnout in the primaries, I think that that? the grassroots has been notified that you know, uh, the GOP is interested in more spending. And unfortunately, the okay, bill that just came out uh, on transportation and energy uh, support that hypothesis, which is uh, they're blowing the budget. Um, no, I, dealing no, with fantasy I'd like numbers, to go to looking to uh, bail out the so states. Just meet out at the um, card an example would be like uh, forgiving payments on bonds uh, okay, or loans, be, federal loans, so that they can use their toll money for to keep okay, up their I'll bond rating, the so that they can borrow more money on the state level for transportation. Um, so for All real right. limited government advocates like myself, um, it is a bit discouraging, but I'm here to support those few people that really actually want to cut government because, uh, frankly... And, and, and who are those people? Uh, those people are those that uh, are in the private sector understand what it takes to create a job and do create jobs, uh, who don't rely upon government on a local, state, or federal level. But in, terms of, in terms of the candidates you're supporting? Well, there's only one candidate that will actually cut government, in my opinion, and that's Ron Paul. Okay. Um, and I didn't I, I didn't support him right away. Um, first, it was Michelle Bachman for me. Mm -hmm. um, but then I started looking into the foreign matters. And, you know, intervening in Libya, now some of the Al Qaeda on top of all that gold and oil. Um, China has bought up all the mineral rights in Afghanistan, so we're borrowing money from China to, you know, protect their interests. Uh, it just, our, our, our foreign policy is really making very little sense. Not only that, um, Donald Rumsfeld tried to make changes to the military ones that Ron Paul is supporting and was soundly rejected. Land wars are done. Nation building we can't afford. So there are, everybody's really in consensus about moving to these more mobile units and he's on board with that. He wants the strongest military capable uh, that, that we're capable of. But the amount of graft, corruption, uh, political money laundering, the bases that have no strategic benefit to us just need to stop. We need to stop it. But, but we'll have a better military and a, a better strategy in the end if we actually do that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and by the way, Max Boot would agree and he's like very much of a neocon in regards to intervention. I've done some reporting on the Occupy movement down here in D.C. And there are quite a few Ron Paul people. I have not met any, and I also went down there and interviewed them. Yeah. What I find is, is, is there's not a lot of personal responsibility in the Occupy movement. Um, they have a tendency of, of looking for bailouts and, and other you know, freebies. Um, so ultimately, they can't. I don't think they really understand what Ron Paul is all about or what the Constitution is all about. Uh, otherwise, they'd be looking for work right now. Uh, but they are in a predicament because of big government. Uh, there are no jobs available for the young people um, because, frankly, uh, the government here is sucking up all the money. Any other questions? Um, well, let's get this gentleman's take on things. This gentleman's actually waiting here. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, they're warm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.